David Weir, goodness me, another sprint finish in another London Marathon. Just talk us through those final, what, 100 metres or so. Yeah, it was, um, I knew Brent was probably the strongest uh, sprinter as he's a track specialist. So this course really suits him as he's quite light as well and it's flat. Um, and I had a problem, my hand come out of my glove for the final sprint, so I had to quickly sit up and pull it in, but I was lucky to beat, beat Marcel. Um, I haven't beat Marcel in two years, so that's just a slight improvement, I suppose. Overall, second place is never a great position to finish in, but given the conditions, and given that, as you say, Brent is a, a sprint specialist, you must be pretty chuffed with second place. Yeah, I'm Yeah, really chuffed, you know. I haven't really had a race since March. Uh, Brent beat me on that as well, but that was the half marathon. I've changed a lot of things since then, new chair um, and the other stuff. So, yeah, it was a interesting race. I knew it'd be tough because of Brent being a sprinter and stuff like that, but I did a lot of work knowing that, that there is going to be a lot of sprints in the race, and it seemed to have paid off. Obviously not at the final bit, but you know I'm still happy to come in the top three. You talked about your new aluminium chair in the press conference. In the race, how was it? Yeah, it felt good. It felt nice. It rolled well. Um, felt strong. Uh, yeah, I was happy with, with, with the chair in the, in the race. And what about the conditions? I mean, you're used to racing in all sorts of stuff, but this, by any standards, was pretty foul. It's probably one of the worst races I've, I've, I've raced in. I'm thankful, actually, that we didn't have no big downhills or uphills to climb. So um, I think if it was the normal course, it would have been a lot tougher. And End of a long, long year. Obviously, because of pandemic, we, we haven't seen you a lot of racing. Just look ahead to 2021. What does this tell you about where you might be for, for next season, Olympic, Paralympic year? Uh, it's, it's a good start, I suppose, to the year, even though it's at the end of the year. Um, I can focus over the winter, um, just change maybe a few things over the winter. Um, but I feel like I've had a solid period of training. So I won't change much, um, you know, if it's a you know, a good formula that's working, then I'll just keep it up over the winter. But it's, it's just trying to pick the races, you know, we, we don't know what's going to happen. So it looks like most of the races are going to be in the autumn. So I might not even have a race to go into for, for, the, Olymp uh, for the Paralympics. So that might be a bit difficult, but I'm going to go a little bit early to Japan and, and train a little bit early with the Japanese athletes. So I should be up to race speed. And just a thought, uh, last year was a really difficult year for you, wasn't it, physically and mentally? Looking back, you, you must feel in a, a much better place towards the end of 2020 compared to 2019. Yeah, definitely. I'm in a much happier place, personally, and um, I feel like I, I'm enjoying the sport again and, and enjoying life. So, um, yeah, I feel like I'm in a, in a great headspace at the moment. Well, we enjoyed your performance today. Well done. Second place, terrific. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dave.